Let, let's move on to the um, uh, February 2002, which uh, I think is, is an important date because that, I think, uh, represented the fracture of the relationship between Zimbabwe and the EU when the um, Council for the European Union decided that uh, Zimbabwe had breached uh, uh, human rights uh, issues, violations of uh, human rights, freedom of opinion, association and assembly. And we came up with uh, these restrictive measures. Unpack to us what those restrictive measures uh, were all about. Well, the restrictive message consisted of, uh, of uh, uh, basically three elements. Uh, there was an arms embargo. There still is an arms embargo. So basically a prohibition for European companies to export armaments to Zimbabwe. Uh, and then there were uh, restrictive measures on a number of individuals and entities, basically companies, mm -hmm. uh, which then... Can uh, I ask you to name the individuals and the entities? At the moment, mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, only uh, two persons on the active list of uh, restrictive measures, which are the former presidential co uh, couple, Robert Mugabe is still there and Grace Mugabe. Um, then we have a suspended list, uh, so we have three persons there, which is Valeria Zibanda and uh, Vice President uh, Chiwenga and uh, Minister of Lands uh, Prince Shiri, who are on the suspended list, which means that, yes, the list is still there, but there's no active measures uh, mm -hmm. taken on them. And then on the end... So just for clarity, it's uh, Minister Perrin Shiri mm -hmm. is on the suspended list. That's right. Uh, Vice President uh, Chiwenga is on the list. Mm -hmm. and, and who else? Uh, what is Zibanda, the, uh, That's the army commander. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, and then on the entities list, we have the Zimbabwe Defense Industries. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a big reduction of how wide the list used to be earlier. Uh, so it's it's very very uh, uh, restricted in, in its number at the moment. So what it means uh, for the individuals is that there's an asset freeze for their assets in Europe, in the EU European Union, and a, a travel ban. Uh, for them to uh, travel into the EU. As uh, this one company is concerned still, it means that there's a, uh, there's a prohibition of European companies to cooperate with, uh, with the company. Mm -hmm. What are the prospects of um, the three individuals being removed from the suspended list or the list being in increased? Well, um, I cannot predict that because that's a decision that is taken in, uh, within the Council of the European Union unanimously by mm -hmm. the uh, European Union member states. Mm -hmm. But clearly, uh, what is of interest to the EU and the member states is, is what is happening on the ground. Uh, what is particularly, because human, the human rights situation was at the origin of the restrictive measures, so clearly it's the human rights situation which is uh, um, elemental when we are looking at what was going to happen uh, with the restrictive measures in the future.